Carson, what are those Christmas light things you gave me? They are weird, but like kind of cool at the same time. Two mile per hour wind outside right now. Holy cow. All right, we'll take that. Uh, and Carson is good. How are you? Best is good, I guess. I was in there this morning for a little bit. Or before stream. Not morning, but before stream. All right, cool. Okay. My aunt is outside currently fixing the one inflatable for me. Watch her on the camera, make sure everything's good. I know you gave me some of those other, like the wall lights too. I appreciate that, Carson. Yes, you have. The server has, something has. Did you restart the server and said, Carson, were you trolling me from the con? You were trolling me from the console, weren't you? Oh, Carson, you suck. I'm literally trying to make Christmas lights for everybody. And you did. Yeah. I realize that now you totally trolled me today. Chad, he trolled me. He trolled me. He totally trolled me. The server said it was going to restart. I got you. This has been going on for like two years, Jeff. Maybe three years. Been going on for a while, though. Did you, Carson? Carson, you suck. <laughs> so, Chad, I, I was actually in the house today working on the Christmas tree and making myself food. And I came out here and the server popped up and said, server restart in two seconds. So I was like, oh, God, quick exit, exit, exit. Carson, I could have been in there like another half an hour building Christmas lights for everybody. Carson, I got those like those those floodlights. Somebody put 50 of those in my inventory. And I don't know what those other Christmas things are. They were in the box on my front porch. I don't know what those are then. They're like I don't like a PVC pipe with the Christmas with Christmas lights on them is what they look like. I don't know what to tell you on that one then. That's weird. That is weird. All right, I'm watching on the camera, watching Big Santos inflate currently. Chat. You sent me a snap though, Hunter Carson. Carson, you are a tree. You did. You did. Mm -hmm. Got you. Carson, you suck. Uh, you suck, Carson. You still have to get cloth. Yeah, true, Polar Bear. True, true, true. But it's all good, man. It is all good. All right, Big Santa, stand up already, please. This inflatable takes forever. Yeah, it's 20 feet tall. And Buddy takes a minute to inflate. Anyway, let's uh, keep uh, keep farming. Huh? What else we got going on? We are currently liming here. Uh, this is done. We need to get fertilizer going, huh? Why is this like not working today? There we go. Weird. The the, the, the button to bring that up is not working half the time. Force play. Not sure what's up with that, but. Carson, I will admit it was a good one, man. You got me on it because I like panicked and started panic clicking to leave as fast as possible. And you definitely got me, Carson. Okay, be proud of yourself. You, you, hundred percent got me. Every yard has a twenty foot tall Santa. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think Sunday was broken, Carson. I got three emails that it updated three times. So, no, the rates are not too much at all. No, they're the rates are great. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, let's put it this way, Carson. I had to go collect resources once. I don't think I'll have to go out again for like metal frags and sulfur and stuff. So I think we're I think we're fine. I think we're fine. So yeah. The rates are great. There you go. There we go. Did they tell you what happened? What happened to what? Like in the in the emails? No, it just said that the server updated. That's all. But it said it three times Sunday. So clearly there was something wrong on their end. Or on the rust end, actually, is what I think. So once it reset the third time, it was fine, you know? Chaz, welcome back. How are the goats? I bet they're goating around. I'll stop with the good jokes. You just get one. That's it. That is all. <laughs> the first two actions filled the storage. They're goody. All right. All right. Yelling at you from afar. What are they, wise men? If you only have one goat joke, it's the goat by default. Yeah. All right. Santa Claus is uh, inflated. All right. On uh, the side, in the side yard at the house here. Let's go, chat. Let's go. I'm here for it, chat. I'm here for it. I have not met them. No. My cousin used to have a goat named Cody. Does that count? My cousin had a family reunion at her house once. And they had they had some property and it was it was really nice and stuff, but uh they uh they had this goat named Cody that was basically a dog. And this thing like I it would go in the house and yeah, he, he was he was the goat, literally. All right, he literally was the goat. He was pretty cool. He was pretty darn cool. He basically ran the show up at their house. <laughs> pretty well, anyway. He was pretty cool. I don't know if they still got him or not. I don't know. Don't know. Oh, goodness me. He was sitting like a dog, yeah. She was sitting like a dog, yes. That was pretty funny. Rots. So, yes, it counts. Why not? I will allow it. Because apparently I'm the authority on this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I am, but. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, artichoke. That is so loud in my headphones when I put my phone on the charger. Good lord. It kind of scared me. Not going to lie. Kind of scared me a little bit. I got promoted. Yes. What am I now? All right. That's what I've always wanted, Chad. I've always wanted a promotion. <laughs> There's not really much room for, uh, you know, promotion here at Puma Plow. I don't know what what the next step would be for me, right? Streaming from Bora Bora. Hello. Oh, man. Diesel Life, what's going on? It's, it hasn't been a minute, man. How are you? 
What's poppin', bro? Alright, whenever somebody says it's been a minute, I always have to go check. 220 of 2023. Diesel life, my guy. How's your year been, bro? <laughs> How's your year been, bro? Uh, Slim Dog, no. Been back. All right, that's good. Uh, Slim Dog, we are probably going to be playing Lego uh, Fortnite or Fortnite Lego or Lego Fortnite or however you want to say it um, tonight at probably 7 or 7.30 Central. We're going to be doing a bonus stream tonight. Or wait, wait, chat, should we put a sub goal for a bonus stream? I don't do sub goals for the record. It was, it was a joke. Should we do a sub goal? All right, sub goal of negative one chat. And we'll do a bonus stream tonight. Negative one. I'm joking. Uh, these live it's heads up and downs. I got you, man. I got you. I feel like that's, that's just, you know, that's, yeah. Guys, I need a bigger fertilizer spreader. We don't have the money to upgrade right now. I really wish we did, though, because I don't have any capacity. I could use some uh, capacity, right? Sub goal? Nobody? Nobody? Okay. Can you get a refund from here? <laughs> no. Actually, you can, but please don't. I was joking about the sub goal, guys. I don't do that stuff. Well, buddy's buddy's empty. I'm empty. Our lives are in shambles. Oh boy. Might actually get that sub goal if somebody forgets to resub, right? Wow. Yeah, it was a joke, Chad. Don't worry. It was a joke. Since I can't... Villager Garby just resubscribed for four months. Hello, everyone. Villager, what's up, man? Thanks for your Twitch Prime. I do appreciate it. Welcome in. How's it going? That's exactly where I'm going on both, yeah. Since I can't upgrade right now, I kind of... This is my option, okay? And I know it's weird, but it'll work. Since this is technically a cedar. It'll work. We'll just park this in front of the thing here. Oh, there's a harvester there. Play. You know, chat, actually, hey, you know, we, we have honest conversations here. What do we think about people that have a daily sub? <laughs> Not that I'm going to do one, but what do we think about daily sub goals on Twitch? And I'll tell you why I don't understand them here in a minute. Okay, because I don't understand them. I don't know. In, unless it's for something. Right? The dailies are unrealistic. Yeah. I can see that. New followers from almost the start of YouTube and Twitch. Heck yeah, let's go. How long have you been following? You've been here since 2018. You made your account and followed the same day. Oh. Let's go. Meh. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Remember, Farm Sim 13. Oh, that's been a minute. Yeah. What I don't like about them, or what I don't like uh, the way people, a lot of people I see that do it, it doesn't unlock anything. It doesn't mean like, oh, hey, we're going to stream for an extra hour today. Or anything like that. It's just, oh, I daily sub goal for daily sub goal. Does that make sense? 
Like if there's a if it unlocks something, I think that could be fun. Oh, you've been following on other accounts. I got you, Diesel. I got you, man. Peace of life. Got you. You know, that's my thing. If it unlocks something, I don't really have a problem with it. You know, I think that's fun. They're doing it because everybody else exactly was screwed because and that's where I like to be different. I like to be different, chat. I don't like doing that stuff. Just because everybody else is, you know? Just saying. I know unrealistic and demanding of people. Well, the follower only chat and putting a time limit on that. I can see that to a point. Uh, it depends if that person gets trolled a lot. Then I can completely understand that because I've I've been through that myself. I've had online. I kind of still do online like stalkers and and you know people that wish me ill, we'll say, and wish me bad, and and it's like. You know, the last thing I want to do is let them create a new account and then say something stupid, you know? So, I mean, we've had our, our, our chat on follower only or sub only or whatever. We've done all that. We've had to. Um, not on a regular basis. Just, you know, when you have to. Sometimes you just have to do that kind of stuff, you know? It's unfortunate when you have to, but sometimes you just have to. So. Yeah. All that stuff sucks, honestly. Going through all of that, just it just sucks. It's not good for anybody, and yeah. Okay, the cursed ads. Yeah, using. Yep, using when you need it. Yep. Because actually, believe it or not, chat, and some of you may not believe this, but like there are people on the internet that absolutely hate my guts. And I find it funny, personally. So. Yeah. You played Farmson 15 on Xbox, did you? What was your name back then? To be honest, man, that's like, that's a few minutes ago, so I don't necessarily remember everybody that would join us back in those days. I just cleaned out, like, all of our fertilizer storage. All right, before we do that, we need to get lime going back for this guy so he can finish. We gotta fertilize this field too, so. Yeah. Chad, I think the thing that I, one of the things I like about streaming is taking on a conversation like ads or taking on a conversation like, you know, sub goals. How can someone hear yo Texas? I would love to know. I would love to know. Um, but like being able to take on these conversations that I feel like most channels can't have with their audience and just like we can just talk and like see each other's sides and you know, I think it's pretty fun. I think it just goes to the to the uh shows the community that we've built here, you know? Just saying chat. Right, Chaz. Right. Thank you, Chaz. Appreciate it. You're gonna make me blush. Stop. Uh, thank you. I dude, I remember that I totally decent life. I remember that name. I really I do. Honestly. Hundred percent. I can't remember which one it was either now, but it was one of those. <laughs> but I do remember that name, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh man, I just want to play video games. Casey, thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I just, I don't know what to do with my hands, Chess. 
I remember I get awkward when it comes to compliments. I don't like them. Uh, so how's the weather? <laughs> oh, man. You were in TeamSpeak for a while. Well, we still hang out in TeamSpeak. Why did we both ask each other how the weather was? It's nice here, actually. It's been really nice. Across your top five. I'm second in top five. Hey, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Let's go. Stop blushing. Chad, it just got hot in here. Uh, I think I need to go turn my air conditioning on or something. First, I'm accepting compliments. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't. Yeah, chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Everybody's welcome. I, uh, the one that really got me ch uh, chatting, this is going to kind of take a turn here. But, like, when mom was sick and going through all her stuff, and, like, a nurse would come in and, like, obviously would check on mom first, like, say, in the hospital setting. And then they would look at me and be like, and how are you? And I would always just be like, don't ask that. Don't do that. Don't ask me how I am in this situation. Because usually that would, yeah, it was, it would not end well for me. Like on a personal, like it was bad. Don't ask me that. You know, when that, when that situation was going on, don't ask me. It's not about me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how I'm doing. It was really nice of them to check on me, but like. No. No, it didn't end well. Just put it that way. Like almost every time I would start sweating from my from my eyeballs, okay? Cause like it's it's not about me. Just saying. But it was nice to have somebody check on you, but like don't ask me how I'm doing, okay? In that situation. You know what I mean? Gosh. Uh, exactly, Chaz. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Please and thank you. All oh, we left the skipple. Like, you know, it's different. Like, people asking stream and stuff. Like, that's fine. That's, that's different. But, like, in that situation, being in a hospital with somebody, don't ask me how I am. Don't ask me if I need a, a beverage. I can go get my own, you know? I will say though, man, we had some great hospital staff, like absolute, absolute angels, you know, there's code ways to ask. Yeah. True. 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 I'll never forget the charge nurse. The charge nurse is one of the nicest people I've ever met, which is kind of her job, but like whatever, she was just great to us over the years. And then um, there was a CNA one night who was in school to become a nurse and actually wanted to be a flight flight medic. And she like basically stood in the room and talked to me for like 20 minutes one night at like three o'clock in the morning. And I'll never forget those two. I'll never forget those two. But yeah. Gotta go check on the horses. Yeah. Yeah, I guess just. But yeah, those those two women I will never forget. That's all there is to it. So yeah, super super nice. But anyway, so chat, we're fertilizing some crops. We're gonna change the subject again. Uh, fertilizing some crops. Might have to do some pH and some some lime in soon. But like, I think our data is just getting old. That's all it is. Data's getting old over here. So we got to fertilize here. And then technically we can need to come down here. But I don't think we can fertilize that. I think the crops are going to be too far along. And then we can't. Um, <laughs> and we can't drive on it without destroying it. So. Yay. Fertilization. Woo. Everybody be amazed. 
What games have I played recently? Uh, Diesel, I've been playing um, Lego Fortnite. I'm actually going to be playing that tonight around 7 to 7.30 Central. We'll start up uh, a little bonus stream tonight. Um, been playing Railroads Online. There's a new railroading game called Railroader that I'm going to be learning before I bring the stream because there's a lot to learn there. Um, what else is there? What else is there? Uh, I actually have to play American Truck Sim coming up. It's been a long time since I've played that, but we have to play that soon. Been learning stuff with your vet. Gotcha, Chance. Gotcha. Does anyone else troll their family? How would you troll your family, Fire Shadow? Because I, yeah, sign me up, bro. I'm here for it. I'm the youngest. I'm the, I'm the pot stirrer in the family. You know. Uh, Railroads Online, Lego Fortnite, Farm Sim. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, construction sim. We've been playing some of that. Oh yeah. Yeah, Mr. Eticus, I was in there yesterday for about half an hour and it's like, I don't know what to do with my hands, you know? So, oh, um, what's the game? Rush? Been playing some of that too. Oh yeah. Baby goats. Oh, no wet, no, ah, uh -uh. no, no, no wet goats, um, Chaz, no, nope. Nope. He who stirs the pot has to lick the spoon at some point. Wow. Wow. You told your family you're buying a Prius. Yeah, we have to play Phasmophobia sometime too. Uh, must be dry, baby. <laughs> uh, uh, ATS. I, so I, so here's the thing. Uh, we raised, uh, we were talking, you know, I, I raised money for a charity called Extra Life. Exclamation point extra in the chat. Okay. Exclamation point extra. And a couple weeks ago now, last it was last Saturday, I guess it was, a week ago, two weeks ago, whatever it was, the other day, uh, we raised $5,000 for Extra Life. We raised $5,000 in like an hour and a half for Extra Life. And uh, so basically I said like, you know, I would play ATS because it's been forever since I've played. That's one of the things I have to do. I have to play Phasmophobia and... I have to do a 10 hour logging stream, which might be Saturday or no, a week from Saturday. So, yeah. Am I going to be in TeamSpeak off stream soon? Uh, maybe it's tonight after Scoot or before, right before the, um, maybe before the bonus stream tonight. I don't know why. I'm not sure. Huge multiplayer. We would probably just run the in-game uh, multiplayer. Is what we'd probably do. Yeah. It's me. I, I'm the problem. It's me. A what? No. No. Uh, the ATS stream will be on a uh, Friday night. Um, it'll probably be to people that have been like, like, it'll be probably be like team speak crew first. Uh, I think it's going to be the 22nd. I think, I think, I think, I think, but I know there's going to be a lot of people that want to join that. So. Might be kind of crazy. <laughs> I do chess. I, I do. I'd, oh, well, there was a, a thing where I said like a hundred dollars for extra life and I'd do a karaoke stream. I, I didn't mean it. It was a joke. Okay. Uh, but anyway, actually speaking of extra life, somebody yesterday, 22 hours ago, uh, as anonymous donated $1,500. So I, I feel like I need to give them all the shout outs and all the praise for that. Cause that's wild. Anonymous coming in with 1500 bucks for the kids yesterday. Off stream, even I wasn't even streaming. I wasn't even live. So, 
Beverly Adams is, is is awesome. Just saying. Yeah, you do, Polar Bear. Yeah, you do. There is a clip of it, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. All right, scoot. All good, man. All good. I will definitely be in scoot Thursday night for football. We're not. I'm not going to stream Thursday night because Thursday night football with the boys. You know, I'll be around then for sure. Beast, what's going on? I probably won't be around tomorrow night. Yeah, I know. As much as I am streaming and stuff, I'm trying to like set side of, oh, I, despite what what Kimmy says, and I'm not allowed to have time to myself. I'm trying to set a little bit of time for myself and like Sunday nights and Wednesday nights are like my time. Everybody leave me alone. I don't want to talk. <laughs> I don't want to interact with anybody. I just want to be left alone. So there's that, right? Did I see the deer you got this year? No. I did not. Did, 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 did. So yeah, just like leave me alone. Family time. No, it's not even family time. It's just me sitting here by myself time. Uh, Everybody that's in TeamSpeak right now is muted, Chess. <laughs> oh no, I just, I just broke everything. I can't see you, chat. Hold on, chat. Okay, I can see you now. All right. Crisis averted. Don't. It's fine. Yeah, everybody in TeamSpeak is muted right now. Oh, it's family time. Yeah. Yeah. You post whatever you want. Oh, yeah. That's fine, Chaz. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're off Friday. Let's go, Scoot. Thursday night football with the boys. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm, I'll be here this Thursday, okay? I swear. I promise. I promise. I'll be here this Thursday. You can clip it and ship it, Trent or Dave. I'll be here, boys. I'll be here Thursday night. I don't even know who's playing, but I'll be here. Actually, yeah, I have no idea who's playing this Thursday night. Not a clue. All right, we're going to clean our fertilizer storage out. I think that's a big old deer right there. I think. I don't know. I don't really get into that, but yeah. Looks like a big old deer. That deer, that deer. All right. All right now. Oh, come on. Like that bag stuck. You hot. Holy cow. That's crazy. Crazy. Oh, I got you. Good. Okay. We're good. Oh, good. Why are these bags like glued down? These bags are like double stuffed. They're, they're, they're huge. They're huge. They're something like that. Crazy. I got that song stuck in my head, chat, by the way. Wow. Chargers Raiders. Okay. That'll be a terrible game, right? That's probably going to be a snooze fest, right? Maybe we'll just play Lego Fortnite the whole time again, like we did last week, huh? <laughs> we can play on our other map, the, the learning map. The whole time. Because that's what we did last there. Oh, I forgot to... I haven't fast time yet. I got to return that thing before I get charged all the money for it. Uh, last week's game was so uh, such a snooze fest that uh, a bunch of us just played Lego Fortnite instead. 
<laughs> yeah, it was fun though. It was fun. That was our first night playing, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Vikings Raiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen some TikToks. <laughs> there was this one where this kid. It's so mean, but like I don't care. It was funny. This kid was absolutely balling at his TV. He's like, I hate the Raiders. And his mom's like, it's okay, honey. They'll win next game. And he's like, I hate them, though. It was so funny. How do you give up a field goal and then lose? One field goal. Like, really? That had to be a depressing game to watch. Like, I would have loved to watch it just to, like, you know, say I watched it, you know. It had to be hard to watch, though. All right, where do we actually need to go? Over yonder. Okay, Badro. I like this as a fertilizer rig, by the way. This isn't bad. I mean, it's got 8,200 liters of capacity. What's a, what's an actual fertilizer spreader hold though? And actually we could go probably with this other one. Oh yeah, see, they, they hold like way more. That holds 10. We could probably go with this one because this one's got the spread with coverage. We'll upgrade eventually. Where? Oh, we're going up there. Yes, still. Okay, let's go. High speed. Let's go. Well, at least we're almost done up here. Oh. I can't do it. I'll get yelled at. Hashtag skipper life. I see a little skipper in the field. <laughs> oh, God, that's me. Um, um, oh, oh, well, I got you. I'm okay. I remember what you're talking about now. Yeah. You think he's hating the wrong thing? Uh, come on. You have to admit that's funny. I don't know. I laughed at it. I'm probably mean for laughing at it, but like. You know? Yeah, it's okay. Go back. We're glad that you made it through all that and that you're doing great now, you know? For reals. You agree it's funny. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Huh? I'll see you there, Texas. All right. <laughs> I'll see you there, brother. <laughs> yeah, that's funny right there. I don't care who you are. All right. Glad I'm not the only one. You know, you ever see those TikToks where it's like, if you laugh, you're going to hell. It's like, I don't ever laugh. None of those are funny to me. But if they put that kid in there laughing or yelling at the TV how he hates the Raiders, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'll see y'all there. <laughs> so anyway, Chad, how's the weather? Or something like that, right? Actually, I think it's... Is it going to get... Hang on, I gotta check my weather actually. I haven't checked in days. It's been nice. I mean, it was cold Sunday at the farm, but it was mostly because it was windy. It was definitely windy. So, like, kind of chilly. 47 right now. Oh, well, they're talking like 50s for highs and upper 30s for lows. That's not bad. Watch. It's gonna be like 50s and 30s, you know? 
highs and lows. When that one, my brother comes up from Texas, it's going to be like 12 degrees and snowing. Just, just watch chat. The week between Christmas and New Year's, it's, I, yeah, wouldn't that be funny? That would be funny. If it like turns the uh, super cold and stuff. That would be hilarious if you ask me. Just because, you know, he's already complained that it's too cold up here. And he, I, sounds like he doesn't even want to really come up here. So I don't know what's up with that, but I mean, he hasn't been here in, has it been four and a half years? Something like that. Over four and a half years was the last time he was here. Or no, I guess he was here for like a day once, but I didn't get to see him. So I'm looking forward to seeing my brother and sister-in-law and, um, I guess my nephew's coming with him. I don't really know yet. But I'm looking forward to it, chat. Some family time. Gross, I know, but like... Kind of looking forward to it at the same time, you know? Alright. Emptying the fertilizer. Golly, we're going through so much fertilizer. We definitely need to invest in the bigger... Fertilizer spreader. Capacity. We're all about capacity. That's okay. All right. We'll get this field. We're going to run down and check that other field. I'm going to guess it's too far. And if we drive on it, we're going to destroy it. But we're going to check it. Because if it's not, then we need to lime and fertilize it real quick before we fast time. So, yeah. That's what we need to do. If it is too far, then we'll just let it go and harvest the pathetic pathetic yield that it will be in canola. It will be like two liters of canola. And we need to fertilize this field still too. So there's that as well. But if we can drive on this other field, then we'll start the limer down there and then we'll get fertilizing here and then do the old swapsy potato, you know, with him. Or something. That's a factory of some kind, isn't it? Look at our beautiful homestead chat. You can tell it's a beautiful homestead by the way it is. Alright, we're gonna... Yep. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna destroy so we're not gonna drive it there. Swapsy potato. Ever watching Practical Jokers, Jazz? That show on TBS that's absolutely hilarious. Pretty sure that's where I got that line from. I love that show. I really, really like that show. I won't lie. I think it's hilarious. That's been my, like... If I'm sitting out here working on the computer doing something and I just need, like, background noise, I, I put on that on, like, my Hulu. And just watch Impractical Jokers. I like play Pharaoh listening to to uh, to uh, Impractical Jokers all the time. Probably do that tomorrow night when I'm uh, chilling, you know? Probably will. Let's be honest. It'll probably happen. And we yell for Larry as well, sometimes, just randomly. Still not sure who Larry is, but, you know, they're looking for him. Or something like that. This is going to be an awesome field of carrots, y'all. Fully limed, fully fertilized. Field 55 in carrots. We're going to have so many carrots. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. I'm going to have so many. I'm going to have to set up auto drive to dump. To dump them. To unload them at the thing. Yeah, Chaz, they added. There's a DLC that came out um, a little while ago. It added carrots, parsnips, and red beets. So, like, you know, beets, like regular beets, you know? Like, beets. And whatever a parsnip is, I don't know. It's a white carrot as far as I'm concerned. I don't really know. I've never had a parsnip. So, yeah. 
Not sure. What? Well, like a like a pickled beet, you know? How you can get like a pickled beet? Those kind of beets. Just No, like fields of them, Chaz. Fields and harvesters and planters. Yeah. Yeah, fields of beets. This field's planted in carrots. Yeah. It's it's pretty cool actually. Um, I wasn't big on the idea at first, but like I, I really do like that they added, you know, it added something new. You know? Yeah, I like it. Gotcha. It's all good. But yeah, they added so they added along with that they added factories. So we have a soup factory and we can make different soups. We we make triple soup. They add, add preserved food. Uh so like jarred, I don't really get it. Um but yeah, red beets, carrots, parsnips. So it's pretty cool actually. Especially now that we have a modded harvester. The uh, the harvesters that they uh the harvester that they gave us was kind of not great. It doesn't have any capacity, so you need somebody to run alongside you the whole time. And well, if you're not in a server with a bunch of people, that's kind of hard to do. So yeah, but that's all right, it's all good. So we have a modded one now that has capacity and auto drive works with it well as far as like keeping it empty. So. Everything, everything's great now. Yeah, so I've actually got uh, 55s in carrots. I bought this field today. Carrots, and then I've got carrots up in 86 and 87 and 52. And then these are the, the beets in 50, 51, 54, and 89. And then parsnips in 88 and potatoes, of all things, in 53. So I got a whole smorgasbord going on today and all root crops. Which is pretty cool, so. Yeah. The only root crop I don't have right now is sugar beets. That's the only one that I don't have planted anywhere. Uh, on a field that we own anyway. There might be some out there, but like not that. Not that I own, so. We've been actually pretty much growing. Like every in-game year. Been growing root crop since we started this map. We're pretty much only making money off factories at this point. So we have two of the uh, preserved food factories. We have the triple or with the soup factory making triple soup. We have um, we have a bakery. We have a flour mill because we have grown some barley and um, oat. I think yeah, we grew some oat too. Uh, stuff like that, and then. Um, there's a potato chip factory, and I can make potato soup. Uh, I don't think I'll buy the potato chip factory right now. I'm going to wait, uh, mostly because I'm poor. But I'm going to wait till I have a bigger field of potatoes. So we'll start off with the small field. Make that into potato soup, which, you know, sounds pretty delicious to me. It is. And then... Uh, We'll do the bigger field later. Do a bigger field later and then buy the potato chip factory. So, yeah. What's going on? Welcome in. How's it going? What's pampin'? Welcome. It does sound good. Well, so... We make this ham and uh, bean soup that has potatoes in it. And I kind of have a hankering for that here soon. That would be really nice on like a Sunday or a Wednesday night. Come home from the farm. I'm kind of cold, like to the core, you know. Get a get some hot soup. Kind of sounds fire. Not gonna lie, it's ham, beans, and potatoes. That's it. Like a white bean, but it's super yummy. And uh, ah, can't wait. Can't wait. Need to make some soon. Get some cornbread to go. Oh, yeah. You know. 
I already know. I put cheese in my soup. I like cheese and um, club crackers. I had to be fair. Remember, chat, we had a cracker lesson a while back. Not townhouse, they're club. The green box, the club ones. But I put that in, my, in mine, but you know, other people don't in the house, which is fine. More crackers for me. Yeah, well, it's it's a ham and bean, ham, bean, and potato soup. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Yeah. It's literally potatoes. And and we usually buy um, a couple of big, like, ham steaks. Chop those up. And uh, a couple of cans of beans. And there you go. That's super good. See what I did there, super. Do you have a cat named Crackers? All right. All right. Interesting. I don't have a cat named anything. Used to have a cat at the farm named named Kitty. Until Kitty decided to. Um, you know, kind of, kind of attack me a little bit while well, Kitty went away after that. Okay. Kitty went to live out its life out of dad's friend's house. It, it, we didn't harm it. It actually had kittens like shortly after that, before we got rid of it. We didn't, we just, yeah, it, it went to a different, uh, a different home. We'll just say that much. Cause that's what happened. Yeah. It drew blood from me hand and. I was reaching for an ear of corn inside of this old building and it was an old chicken house that we had converted into ear of corn storage. And I was reaching for this ear of corn and Mr. Mr. Kitty happened to be right there and went ka chow. And uh Well, I was not a fan of that. I did not appreciate the ka chow to the hand. And my mother did not appreciate the ka chow to the hand at all. She didn't like it at all. So, so, so Miss Cat had to go away. Miss Kitty had to go away. So, yeah, that was, that was the end of that. So, after, since then, we haven't had a farm cat. All right, I think he's here. Uh, Scoot's here, chat. Let's go say hi to Scoot. Sound what up, Scoot? What's up? Give me one second. All right, all good. Surprised the server worked. That's the shocking part, chat. The server worked, and he was actually able to sink in. Look, he's right there in the homestead. It's amazing, chat. Amazing. Yeah, I was going to make sure it actually connected before I <laughs> did anything. Well, you know, it likes to break for some reason, and I don't know why. I think your Christmas lights make it a little framey over here. No way. <laughs> They're not even all on. I know. What do you need me to do? Um, if you want to grab that fertilizer or that limer and get it, uh, exit that, get rid of the course play course, and then just go park it. I guess I'm about done. We're All about right. to fast time. I think I'm gonna drive around that other field real quick okay. and just fertilize what I can. So we'll get at least a little bit of a yield bonus, you know. Uh, Texas, we're not talking about my brother burning his hand. We're talking about a cat that kachowed my hand one time. And then the cat had to find a new home. Or we found it a new home. It was a dad's friends. Dad had a friend, and I don't know what his real name was, but he had the best nickname ever. I always loved, I just, I liked the guy a lot. I thought he was cool back in the day. Mostly because of his nickname. And I could give you guys forever, and you would never guess it. It might actually have been his real name. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I always liked him. I thought he was a nice guy. I don't even know if he's still still around or not. It's been a lot of years ago. 
right, we're just going to do this. I know it's kind of a waste of fertilizer, but at least we're getting something done. We're not. We're not actually fertilizing. Never mind. That's just all a waste. Never mind. We're done. Do the homestead chat. Actually, I could. Hey, what's the uh, here. What? hot key to bring up the little course play thing in the bottom that shows like the points and stuff? Uh, delete or right click on your mouse. If that's not working, jump in. Oh, wait, to show the points. What do you mean? Like where you started, the one that pops up in the center at the bottom. Oh, okay. That's like either restart it. Yeah, either right click or delete. Um, if that doesn't work, jump out of the tractor and jump back in. I've been having issues with it today for some reason. Ah, that worked. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that, but it's do. I don't. I almost over that. That's weird. Dude, this homestead's lit though, isn't it? Yeah. You have to admit it's kind of nice. All the oh, I didn't fire the big trees. They're not even on. I guess I never turned them on after reset, huh? Dang it! Turn all the lights on again, Oop. Trent. Oops. <laughs> I'll leave them off. For now. Very festive, okay? I can't wait for Left to come in here and tell me how much he hates all of it. <laughs> As you know, just that's going to happen, right? Just don't leave the server up, because you might come back and they'll be all gone. That would left. That's probably what happened, yeah. Probably organization's not my strong suit, okay, chat? Alright, um... Y'all ever seen me play Minecraft? What? Magic wash button again? Uh, that would be the insert key. Okay. It's you really know what loud they... in your ear when you do that. Do what? I said it's really loud in your ear when you hit oh. that button. <laughs> yeah, it can, it can be a little... A little loud. Fireboy, what's going on, man? How are you? What's poppin'? Ah, uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Uh, why do I park in the crowded homestead? Because I'm a creature of habit. That makes sense. No, I I wanted to come up here and change this back to a cedar. If nothing else, I wouldn't mind running some stuff down there. But until we're ready to like move everything down there, then. Well, if it's parked here, we know where it is, right? I'm going to run this down south. Let's go, Scoot. Grab a tractor. Let's run some stuff. You need to bring the combine down there? Like the grain combine? Yeah, might as well. Because that's where we're going to need it next, yeah. Is that better? Is it, are we happy now? <laughs> Move stuff. Awesome, awesome. I mean, our, uh, our new homestead, also known as the Oceanfront Property. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's got a, it's got a, it's got a view here behind this one shed. It's this, straight to the water. Is it part of Arizona? Uh, it could be. It, air, uh, oh, that's a good song. See, the other problem is I don't know how to back up equipment for nothing. Actually, a joke, Chad. I do, but we unfold this in the shed. I feel like that's that would look real solid. Like maybe we're working on it, you know. Really get that RP going, Chad. You know. Oh, gotta do it inside the door though. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Can't have anything nice, huh? Apparently not. Left's gonna rage on these buildings too. <laughs> I just think he's gonna rage in general. Can't wait. I guess he's working today. Uh, I believe he's in Missouri somewhere right now. Throwing away some more Casey's pizza. Dude, that I mean, made me I mean, he, I mean, he ate some Casey's pizza. Kinda sad, okay. At least he ate the the, the cheesy bread, which looked really good. Yeah. Poor guy. That guy. I tell you what, man. 
He can be at my front door. Sean, I, you can park wherever you want. I don't care. Sean, I can see my front yard on that screen right up there, and he is not out there. <laughs> Just saying. Oh. I, I think I would notice a semi truck pulling up to my house, you know? Roll up. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, thanks yeah, there's no. What? Go ahead. Thanks okay. for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? There's no what? Either there's no collisions with this uh, one barn, or I just squeezed that in really tightly. I didn't think the header and everything were going to fit in this other little shed. Oh, I don't know. Add skills. But it, it did. <laughs> Add skills. All right. I guess we can bring all the smaller tractors over there. I... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some of those small, small ones need to just go away. Like our two starters. All right, I'll just drive it over to the, to like, the, uh, the know, shop. We have like 84 tractors these days. So. Yeah. Plus, we have a free John Deere. You know, we should be really racking up the hours on one. That we can't get rid of. Yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> kind of nice. But yeah. Oh, you did a thing, though. Oh, chat. Farm mm -mm. better doing good, man. Put a parking in the wrong spot. You backed it in. Can't back it. Because when you tab to it, all you're gonna see is a shed. They tell me my precision, precision driving skills getting in there now. I gotta turn it around. I gotta turn it around. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Tabables, we we always. Pull it so that you're not staring at the at a sidewall of a shed. It's a personal thing, but yeah. Keep them, never know when we're gonna need a yard tractor. But Sean, we could actually really kind of use the money, you know. Just saying. We could kind. I mean. Well, actually, hold on. Don't we use that? Do we no. We don't even use any of them, do we? I don't think we use any of them. We've got the tipper army here, which we need to go ahead and assemble because we're going to need that for a harvest here after a little while. Uh, 1050 is going to probes. That's right. Because that's our next uh, next job, Scoot, is to harvest. It could run the forklift three point. We don't use that. Sounds so like a plan. The farmer couldn't pay for the work so he gave us equipment jeff i don't mind that rp honestly i don't mind it i don't mind it at all he all probably right. paid more for the tractor than he did for us to work the land exactly all right i'm gonna go fix a little auto drive really fast so we have a better spot for uh when we go to harvest here all right so we can use more than like two tractors two chains i mean two tractors Um, let's see. How am I going to do this, though? I'm going to... Ah, oh, I just need to delete all this, don't I? I need to move do we this. Need, need... Do what? We need the root... Are we just using one of the root crop harvesters, or are we using more than one, or... We could probably use more than one. Okay. I'm taking the JCB. I'm gonna leave like the fence and stuff over there for the, or you want me to leave all the bigger tractors over here? Uh, JCB tippers. would be good on one of the cloth tippers. Okay. And probably the deer on the other cloth tipper, or no, not the deer, the uh, the McCormick. The McCormick would probably be good, and then the fence go on the. Uh, Crone trailers. There should be three crone trailers around the map somewhere. Oh, 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 oh. Left, I blame you. You parked us a little close. Started dragging the uh, dump cart with me, and you know it doesn't yeah. stop once it starts going. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. It's got hashtag no brakes. That's funny. No brakes for the dump cart. All lefty swell. Uh, 
left in his organizational skills. I will say, I mean, we we made the mess the, the best, not the mess. It did. Uh, we made the best out of that homestead that we had, you know. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. Yeah. He kept it organized. We I mean tried, you know. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, chat. We're gonna make it so that our wagons, because we're gonna use here. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's look at the map first. We're gonna use the spot from field 50 here, or all of these homestead fields, or these these old homestead fields here. We're gonna use the same spot for all the fields. That way, you set your tippers up once, and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. But the problem is we have a lot of tippers and they tend to get in each other's way. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a queue or a line to make them come from way back to here. To here. So they have to come in this way. And this will be just a giant line, a, a, a queue, whatever you want to call it, for them to wait in. Because we have a lot of tippers, and with these harvesters, we need a lot of tippers, so this will be fine. And then we'll stop, we'll do that, we'll probably move this over here a little bit, back up, attach this to that, so that's actually where they'll go, and then from there kind of want them to turn and go down so they can hit to the head to the wherever they need to go from there so probably do like this oh that's not what I want to do okay hang on need to unhook those two there we go I want it to go ahead and only go south I don't want it to be able to go north so that'll probably work there we go now, there is other auto drive out here to fix, of course, but it's fine for now. Uh, Scoot, we're probably ready to fast time a day, and then we can spray weeds, right? Anything a sail barn? Okay. This is a cedar? Huh? That's a cedar. Okay. Where's the capacity? I'm assuming to... there's another part that I haven't seen. It's part of the horseback. <laughs> um, you get half on sale. They'll have pay full price. <laughs> oh, it probably goes with that front tank that we have. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Because there's no other, like, speed. Off. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of cool then. So, like, there's probably, like, the hoses hook up and then go run down your tractor. That'd be kind of sick, actually. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. This may be something to try in the future. Yep. Could be cool. Oh, I need to check the factories because we still have crop on the ground. Crop on the ground. Crop. Let me be very clear. Crop. Oh, man. Oh, we got rid of all the chickens. Yeah, we did. Okay, we need to move soup out. And we need to fill the factories. And we can move flour, but I'm not worried about that because there's plenty of flour up there. Okay. Um, let's see. We should have weeds as well. Holy oh, weed. Oh, holy weeds. Look at 55. <laughs> I know. That's, that's where my map was pulled up. I was like, holy weed. Oh, the weeds are weeding. Um a fast time a little bit. I don't want to hurt beside in the rain. That's just, yeah, it's not realistic at all. Not that we're worried about being realistic, but. As long as we're not harvesting in the rain, I guess we'll be okay. Yeah. My roundup, it's gone. <laughs> it's floating away in the water. Yeah. Those fish, they like roundup. <laughs> all right. Wait a minute. Alright, I'll head down to that new field. Knock it out real quick. Alright. I love when I turn with this, the boom goes into the cab. Yeah, yeah. 
solid. Get a little longer draw bar or something. Yeah. Or the booms need to go up a little higher. Something. Um. I do have one thing. It's more like a game mechanic question. You know, you were talking about trying to fertilize earlier with the uh, without cr damaging the crop because it's already too far. Yeah. So how do we uh, weed without running stuff over, or is that just a we uh, more it's weed? It's not far enough yet. Oh. Yeah. Ted talk was your top emote used this year, Chuck. Uh, I could not imagine why Chuck. Chuck, the, uh, yeah, how's it going? Welcome in. That's funny. Yeah, so basically you have, like, a growth state. So basically, like, one one day mm -hmm. before the crops are too far and then you just can't drive on them. Um, unless you had skinny tires on everything, which, like, our sprayers have skinny tires. Um, but we don't own any tractors with skinnies because if I do put skinnies on a tractor, it immediately gets changed because nobody can stand the look <laughs> of skinny tires. But me, I think they look cool. Yeah. Personally. That's just, that's just me. Nobody else likes it. Everybody else hates it. There's a TED Talk moment right there for you, Chuck. <laughs> Why do I like skinny tires and everybody else hates them? I don't know, Chad. You tell me. So does the in-game stuff to have a, uh, like a silo you can put like uh, fertilizer and stuff in? Um, or you gotta get like a downloaded one? No, uh, there's, well, pellet fertilizer. I guess we could run with the AGI pack. Just to where when we move stuff over, like if we have extra like fertilizer, or like if we want to say take the uh, herbicide out, we can put it in a well. There, silo so or whatever. there, there is a tank for herbicide or liquid fertilizer. You can have either one in there. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a thing for seed, but I don't know if you can go. Hang on, I don't know if it'll hold for, like pellet fertilizer, or if it's just like the pellets. Yeah, there's a liquid fertilizer tank. And this does, okay, this will do cedar for it, so. But I don't know if you can empty from, like, a cedar into those. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I got you. A, a set of skinny duels front and back is cool, but a set of skinny, like, singles, not cool. It depends on the application for the tractor. Like, right now, if I had skinnies on this tractor, what is this? This is that freebie tractor that we can't get rid of. This is a 6R. For what I'm doing with this tractor, this is plenty of tractor, right? Uh, 6R. 6R in the small? No, it's a medium tractor. But if you give me, like, like that looks dumb. Clamp on duels in general, I don't like. I don't like clamp on duels at all. But that's just... My opinion. I don't know if I can get skinnies on this, can I? Mm, nope. Not yet. Not. I don't think I can. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I like a tractor with skinny tires, though, like I said. Like that? That doesn't look bad to me. Like, real skinnies. Real skinny tires. I'm here for like a, uh, hold on. Can't you get them on the Magnum? Or I know there's a modded Magnum that has like real skinny. Like duels. Oh, that's okay. The half track. I guess that's about as skinny as you're getting. I mean, I know, I know Barber in real life has two of these. What, that, with the tracks on the back? No, with the duels. I think their one oh. has duels all around. The other one just has rears. But, like, row track, you know? This is for running down 30-inch rows. Mm-hmm. Because we... That's what we run around where I live. But, like, I'm all about, you know, any tires. But, you know, big floater tires are cool, too. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just weird. I guess I like 
All of it. Bring it on. All of it. I feel like these aren't, like, as skinny as they used to be. I feel like we could get a tractor with, like, really skinny tires before. Yeah. Maybe I'm just not looking at the right one. That's probably what it is, but, like... What was that one tractor on? Was that on 19 where you could just put the skinniest little tires on there? I always loved that. Skinny singles and skinny duels. Yeah, because that's what, like, that's what's around in Missouri a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Of course, this rig that I'm running here, there's literally one person, like, anywhere near what I call the farm, the place my dad grew up. That even has a tow behind sprayer. Everybody has self propelled Or they just don't have one. There's, there's some people that just don't have them. So, yeah. You can put narrows on the 7810, but they really don't look that narrow. Okay. In 19, that could be the one, yeah. On the 7810. Okay, I'll look at it a second. Turn around first. Turn around. Chat, how many of you knew I was going to say that? Right. Uh, yeah, those don't. For being narrow tires, they're not very narrow. I don't know. 4755? See that doesn't I mean they're they're skinnies, but like they're not they're not that skinny. I don't know. That doesn't look uh it looks guy. If they weren't clamp on duels, they would look so much better. The clamp on duels just don't look good to me. Wait here, I know it's okay. I, I know a tractor. Hang on, which one? The six M and the small tractor. How about the Rostel? Okay. Yeah, look at those skinny ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. The 6M? Yeah, they're smaller than that. 6M. I think but... you may have just passed it. Yep. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm clicking brands, not... Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's the tire I'm talking about. Look how narrow that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me some triples of those bad boys. You know what I'm saying, right. Jay? <laughs> Be plowing the world. <laughs> the Deutz. The Deutz. Which Deutz? Uh, it's... I don't think that's in big tractors. I mean, actually, I think the the T9 actually has a... Uh, the T9 not have a variant anymore? I thought it did. I thought it had a skinny variant. I feel like we almost should have one of these Rostel um, tractors because, you know, we're in Russia. Or whatever. You know, like, I feel like we should have one of these. It's only got 375 horsepower. But, like, on those <laughs> with the spaces. <laughs> oh, the Deutz. We got to look at a Deutz. Hang on. Deutz, 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 Deutz. Where's the Deutz? Oh, I bet a Voltra does, too. Wait. Or not. No. Deutz. Deutz. Oh, yeah, that one's pretty good, too. See, and I don't personally, it depends what you're using the tractor for. I don't mind the rear duel. A lot of, a lot of people don't like the rear duels. 
I don't mind them. I don't, I don't know. It depends on the tractor if I like front duels or not. But I don't mind rear duels at all. Now, if I'm going to use a tractor for auto drive, I'm not putting duels on it at all. Anywhere. I don't care front back. It's not happening. Not happening. Because you basically have to run that all over your map to make sure it's going to clear everywhere. You know, otherwise you're probably going to have problems somewhere along the line. So, yeah. Not about that. That's okay. It's all good. Right. That dois was good to look at though. That was a good one. Was a good one. Beer duels me the tractors all the drags. Oh wow. Like in a tractor pull? I guess you'd have to there, yeah. I feel like there's probably some small tractors that have real skinny tires too. Like a massy. Now see why? 75 horsepower duels all the way around. Why? So it can just pull the tire and that's it? <laughs> I mean There's no reason. I wish they'd put some old uh like steam engines in. That would be awesome. I know there's a mod, but it's not the same. No. There's a couple of the guys that I went to high school with, like some of my best friends, they've actually got some steam engines as they do steam shows and stuff oh, all the really? time. Yeah. That's cool. And they've also rebuilt, well, kind of like basically what you do with your Alice Chalmers, but they, they've done a couple of John Deere's. Nice. Rebuilt them and stuff. That's fun. Oh, I know how charger bulls work. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I've been to a few. I have been to a few. Yeah, I, I'm not. Are. I'm not really into tractor pulling, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> I'll say, depending on what the caliber of tractor pulling you're going, there's not really tractors anymore. They're more yeah. like <laughs> works of art. <laughs> yeah. You have a Kubota with 80 horsepower duels all around. Okay. Can you float across the pond with it? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> if you haven't tried, videotape it for everyone. Yeah, don't don't try that. It won't work. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely won't work. Just fill the take the air out the tires, put helium in it, it'll work great. There you go. <laughs> I actually don't have any experience with duels. I've never, I don't think I've ever driven a tractor with duels. No, not uh, in real life. The same Arms. I did was when I was a kid. Uh, the house I grew up in, we had like three acres of land, but there was a uh, cornfield, like basically a farm field around us. Yeah. And I was up there watching the guy combine uh, during harvest time. He's like, he, I didn't even know the guy. He's like, you want to come drive? And I was like, uh, sure. Yeah. Had a little buddy seat and. He let me sit up there and drive and unload and all that fun stuff. Oh, wow. Grandpa's scared of rolling it down the hill while mowing. Oh, I mean, Texas, yeah, if you got... Or Texas? Texas? If you got hills like that, then... Uh, I mean, it makes sense, yeah. Definitely makes sense. But I'm trying to think back. So, Grandpa had... He had duels for the Alice 8010. But on his, on his ground and the implements that he had to pull with said AD-10, he never needed the duels for traction. Because he only had, like, he had all, like, smaller equipment for smaller tractors. He never bought any implements to match up with the horsepower of the AD-10. I mean, it was only a 110 horsepower tractor. 110, 120, something like that. But he had stuff for, like, you know... 70, 80 horsepower tractors. So he didn't have that big of a disc or that big of a, a chisel or a plow or whatever. I don't think he was plowing actually by the time he had that tractor. 